Dry eye is just becoming such a prevalent and predominant issue that we're dealing with and we're seeing every day. It's really kind of a debilitating and frustrating issue or disease that a lot of people experience, including myself. Our consultations start by you know, taking a good history and trying to identify when the patient is experiencing dry eyes, when they're having these symptoms, and how it's affecting their lives. And then as far as the assessment in the exam room, we look closely at the tear film under the microscope. We even put in some orange dye that will help us perform tear evaporation tests. Uh, to see just how dry their eyes are. Dry eye can kind of happen in two different ways. You can have more of a, a problem with maybe the amount of tears, and then there is also where maybe the quality of tears aren't the, the best, which is ultimately more maybe the oil in the tears don't hold the water onto the eye. So maybe our, our eyes are producing enough water, they're just evaporating off the eye too quickly. So ultimately the evaluation in the exam room helps us to determine what type, and then that ultimately leads us to which treatment is gonna be best for the patient.